Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Merrick and uh, we're still in Subnautica and we've got our buddy Gary here. I think what we need to do is stick Gary in the locker. We'll grab one of these peepers and cook him up. Yeah, I like cooking with lasers. I find it interesting that they make the fish disappear for a little while. But, you know, alpha's alpha. So in this video, I think what we're going to do is spend some time gathering some resources. We need a lot of metal, we need to find some copper, but I think copper will be easier to find once we can go deeper. Before that though, we need a lot of salt. Oh, wow. Here I am talking about how hard copper will be to find, and I find some right here. And that's, that's awesome. Hopefully it'll prove me wrong a whole bunch more and we'll just get a load of copper and precious metals. I don't really want emery. I don't know what else emery is used for other than the knife. So we're going to just leave that to roll down the hill. Let's take our emergency ascent device. The air bladder out just in case because I'm really bad at paying attention to my oxygen levels. And before we go in that cave, let's, let's head up. Some strange looking fish in there. I know my oxygen was at 10%. I'm paying attention like a good diver. Let's get that metal. We need metal. Ooh. What's in here? Any explodey fish? We got some salt. I like salt. Salt and sand everywhere. But what I need is gold. Because, you know, you, you got to have gold. Gold's important. Why is gold important? Because reasons. That's why. Oh, there's some emery. Uh, I hear more of those angry explodey fish. But you know what? Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! Okay. So, that sucked. Now, I've heard that you can kill those guys before they explode. I believe that's magic and that's not welcome here. So we're not going to try that. What we are going to do is grab some of this metal and... okay. So... those guys are a thing. We're gonna blow some bubbles at them. Oh, they have a box down there. What's the box? What's in the box? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Because everybody wants to know what's in the box. It's a transfuser fragment, whatever the shit that is. Ah! They don't look friendly. I don't think they're friendly, but I'm going to try to get this salt before they kill me. Ah, uh, inventory's full and they're growling or something at me. Dump some sand. I need salt more than I need sand. Sand isn't exactly a rare resource at the bottom of the ocean. I think it's probably plentiful. But salt seems to be fairly rare, and there's a magical purple thing. Oh, is that an air bubble? Can I get air from it? Air? Air? No? Ooh, you can! Not very much, though. So we're gonna have to go back up to the surface. I want to know what the purple thing is. Is it just an air thing, or is it a, an egg for these things? I think it's just an air thing. You see, as a scientist, the first thing you do <coughs> is apparently get eaten by a whole bunch of these bastards. Let's get the hell out of here. Fuck, that's mean. I was going to say, the first thing you do as a scientist is you swim up to something and you stab it in the butt with your knife. And that'll tell you all you need to know about it. A little probing of an alien in the butt with a knife. That's the way to do. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out so far. Because everybody loves an Iron Man quote. 
Look, you guys have a crap load of resource nodes, and I don't think you can use them. So just give them up and stop trying to bite me in the ass, and everything will be fine. Okay? How about that? You want to share with me? No? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to take them anyways. And I'm going to kill the next guy that messes with me. I'm super serial right now. Ooh, a sea moth fragment. I wonder what that can be used for. Do we need that to make a sea moth, or can we just make one without it? Where is our boat? There's our boat. So our inventory is full. We're getting kind of hungry. Apparently you can eat creep vines. Let's see what that does. That makes us thirsty and gives us a little food. Ooh, we do have a cooked peeper, though. Mmm. Peeper. Delicious. I wonder if they taste like peeps. If you guys haven't had peeps, they're awful. Ooh, copper. They are these disgusting amalgamations of- Oh, that's gonna be painful. Ow. Jesus. It's going to say these disgusting amalgamations of sugar and marshmallow fluff. And my fiance absolutely loves peeps and I just- I don't get it. I'm not going down into the hole of death there. That's- It's just a very angry butthole over there and you know- it's just a general rule that I have in life to, to not put my face in an angry butthole. And I think that's a good rule. I think everybody should probably have that rule. Just say no to facing angry buttholes. Ooh, magnesium. Now we can build a welder. That's going to be important when we have things to weld. Because you can't weld without a welder. I learned that from Oprah. Uh, it's emery, I don't want emery. Right, this has to be like copper or gold because it's hidden, but no, it's just emery. And... Zinc. Because apparently there's just a shitload of zinc in, the, in this alien water. Ooh, nighttime approaches. I wonder if animals get more aggressive at night in this game. I, I wonder if they're going to add that if they don't have it already. Because it'd be kind of cool if nighttime became a lot more dangerous for you to go out and explore it. Alright. So... We need stuff. What kind of stuff do we need? For sea moth, we need two glass and a battery. Well, I have carbon. And I have sand. And I have quartz. I have copper. I think we only need one copper. Ooh, I already have some carbon. I think I already said that. We'll put the transfuser fragment over there. I don't know what the seamoth fragment is for, so we're gonna hang on to that. And I've got plenty of salt, so we're gonna grab another peeper here. Or two. We're gonna cook these guys. Then we're gonna go build ourselves a sea moth after we have a nice snack. I'm gonna eat this snack up here and watch the sunset. Nom 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 nom. Nothing like a sunset seen through an inventory screen on an alien world. That sunset is absolutely beautiful. And looking down on the alien world, it just looks amazing. I love it. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. I wonder if you can go onto this ship and salvage things. I think that would be really cool. But it may not be in place yet. I do know from a valiant attempt to swim to the ship to look for survivors that you die when you get there because of radiation. We'll probably try that again, just in case I swam in the wrong direction. But first, let's build a sea moth. Yeah. Alright, I need a battery. Battery. Got ourselves a battery. 
I need two glass. And we have everything we need for a sea moth. Come here, you. Sea moth. Yes! Build it in the sky! And there it is, a sea moth. Spladoosh! Yay! But before we go there, we're also going to build ourselves a welder. Alright, let's let's fix this buzzy, smoky crap over here. Hey. Stop it. Just gonna stick it on the end. What if you can weld fish? Yeah, yeah. Alright, there's our sea moth. Let's go take a look at this thing. Ah! Uh, a what? Okay. Noted. The sea moth is angry. Don't run into the sea moth. I don't know what's going on with my hand over there on the right side of the screen. But we're going to. We're going to see if we can't fix that because that's distracting. Gentle. Alright. Woo! Sea moth. I'm going to run into these pipes. Oh, okay. So, sea moth versus pipes. Pipes win every time, apparently. Yeah, we're swimming. Um, uh, what is that? Hello. Hi. You want to be friends? Oh, some more of you have just popped in. Uh, that's not very nice. He just swam up to me and he shit a big cloud of green crap at me. Hey, buddy. Your friend's kind of rude there. Oh, so you, what, just, are, are you saying hi? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump ya. Boop. Did you like that? Huh? Boop. Oh, he, well, he's, he's kind of pissed off about that. So we're, we're gonna leave little shit asses down there alone. Go up to the surface here and uh, get our welder out. Fix this bad boy up because we don't really want to break this after having already having only had it after like two minutes. I mean, that is my you know usual modus operandi. I, I tend to just look at something and go, "Hey, this is cool. What happens if you just smack it with a hammer?" Because I'm a scientist. Alright, so there was just some random ass smoke popping up every now and then. That's that's nice. So let's swim around here and get some metals, because it seems there's a lot of them. Sea moth and metal. So I think we're gonna need a lot of metal for a submarine. And we still have a good bit of salt. We do have a good bit of salt. So we have plenty of food stuff right now. Don't have to worry about that. We'll go in this little cave thing here. I wonder if the sea moth will give you oxygen when you jump into it. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, hey, oh. There's a big school of peeper fish. They're really excited. You know, I did not really pay attention to where I left my sea moth. There it is. That's another thing I'm prone to do in this game, at least. No, you don't get extra oxygen, but you don't lose oxygen, so that's kind of nice. Look at all the fish jumping out of the water. I wonder if they're jumping out because of me or because they're excited. You know, they've never had a sea moth either. So it's just, it's fun for the whole family. And some more metal. Let's go poke this rock node. And grab some sand, apparently, and some salt. Cause, you know, sand and salt, man. 
It's like that song about the, the hamburger paradise. Hey, you heard me. Hamburger paradise. That's a thing. I'm gonna drop the sand. I don't really want that, but I do want the metals. Uh, yeah. Do I have room for one more piece of metal? I don't, but I have room for another Gary. I've always got room for Gary and his friend Boomerang. Alright. Uh, let's head back to the escape pod over here and make some more stuff. Apparently now I'm swimming sideways. I don't want to swim sideways. Ah! Don't worry, I drive good. I drive our good. Alright. Let's get up in here. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Let's cook a boomerang fish. I don't know if I can cook Gary. That just... It seems too mean. Come on, Gary. You, you join the other Gary over there. Got some emery. Store the salt. Let's find out what we need for our submarine and see if we can't start building up for that. Submarine. Submarine dreams. We need six metal. I've got five. We need four glass, two copper, and two gold. So let's go ahead and start with the easy stuff. I have six metal and no more room to store it. I'll take the quartz out. Oh, I need more room. I'll take the peeper and eat him and some salt. All right, so we got six metal. We got two copper. We don't need that. We don't know what that does, but we'll put it in our inventory. All right, Gary, you keep my metal safe. I am going to need some water, though. I'm gonna cook up this peeper because he picked on Gary. I told him he looked weird, and even though he looks weird, he's my he's my friend. You don't pick on people or just stab you on the butt like that. And, and take some membrane and explode you into blood. I'm not really sure that's how that happens, but it is now. Give me. And then I'm gonna finish you off by cooking you with a bit of this salt right here. Alright. Stab you in the butt and then I cook you with lasers. Everybody loves cooking with lasers. It's like cooking with gas, but more sciency and better. That's right, more sciency. It's a technical term. You can trust me. I'm a fish scientist. And you can tell I'm a fish scientist because every time I see a fish, I try to stab it in the butt. And as we established earlier, that's what fish scientists do. Let's see. So what do we need? We need more quartz and some sand. So we need one more quartz and two sand to get the glass we need. Oh no, we need three more quartz and four sand total. There's four sand. That was easy. And now we're on the hunt for quartz. So we're gonna play a game. Every time I miss quartz on screen, you shout at me really loud because I'm stupid and I missed the quartz. What the? What the hell? Seriously? I was not even in your cave, assholes. You guys just need to cool it. I'm taking that quartz. She blew up on me. That's mine now. Okay, so we're just gonna go away. Go away. Okay, so you're just gonna blow up on my head. That's... You know, that, that's what friends do. They, they, they swim at you and then explode into a bloody mess on your face. Friendship. It's magical. 
What the? Purple fan? I'm gonna find out what you can get from a purple fan. You know, aside from strange looks. I'm your biggest fan, but you're purple. I'm your purple fan. Now I kind of want a purple fan. That's kind of cool. I like this cave. I don't like this cave anymore. Those assholes are in here. I kind of went in their back door and they don't know I'm here. So I'm going to get out of here before they figure it out and blow up in my face. Pretty sure I've seen that on the internet. Is that... that that's Flint. Okay. I'm not sure what Flint is for. But I've got it. And I always pick up metal. But I need a ton more quartz. Well, two more quartz. Kinda feel like those last two are going to be a big pain in the dick. You know, I really should have brought my seam off. I built the thing, and now it's just sitting there. I played with it once, and now I'm just kinda like. I've got my knife. I got this. So I think what we'll do is we'll ram our face into this pipe. So I want to go to the surface. Everything's better down where it's wetter. We're gonna f swim through this thing. Come here. Come here. Let's be friends. Oh. They can swim really fast when they're not too busy, you know, digging in the dirt with their face. Look at that guy down there. Is he dead? Well, he's mine now. He's going to be. He's going to be cooked with lasers. So that's what happens when you just lay on the ground and don't do your homework. You get cooked with lasers. Yeah, remember that, kids. Do your homework. There's some asshole with a knife that's going to cook you with lasers. Probably not. You know. That, that just seems rather extreme. Don't do your homework, we're gonna cook you with lasers. No child left behind. Merka. Alright. I want this box. What's in this box? Another transfuser fragment. I don't know what the fragments are for. So I'm going to collect them. In the hopes that they're useful for something or they can be broken down into something. They may not be fully implemented. But we'll find out. Alright. I don't see any quartz on screen right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Liking really does help me out, so anytime you feel like doing that, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video.